What's up, everybody? Welcome to Clown World News. Today, we're going to talk about uh, who's the real terrorists? Who are the real domestic terrorists inciting all the violence in the streets? Is it Donald Trump? Is Donald Trump causing the chaos in the streets? Or, or, is it all these radical leftists who control the media and are spreading all this nonsense gobbledygook that promote violence and get away with it over and over and over again? I don't know. Just watch this compilation. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, we kick. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. Well, you would have been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. I will go and take Trump out tonight. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. And sadly, the domestic enemies to our voting system and wow. our honoring our Constitution are, are right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. They're not going to stop before Election Day in November, and they're not going to stop after Election Day. And that should be, everyone should take note of that on both levels, that this isn't, they're not going to let up, and they should not. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Why don't you go ahead and delete that shit, guys? Why don't you just... Why don't you just stop being so fucking crazy? Yo, also, shout out to Nancy Pelosi. What, how, what was the temperature in this room? Why are you so shiny? <laughs> you look like you're made out of, like, plastic. No, you look like one of those, like, Vietnamese uh, egg rolls. Ver vermicelli rolls. But, yo, um... That's crazy. Yo, sorry for the epic music in the background. I didn't make this video. I I don't I think the the mixing on the epic music could have been brought down a tad. The sensationalism. But I mean, when you compile all the clips like this, it's really kinda hard to ignore that wow, they really are sort of pushing for this nonsense. They have been. And you know, like I, I think in general, people who are super duper political like super duper like right like I guess like gung ho about their politics. Like I think they uh they tend to be a little more annoying and cringy. Like I support Donald Trump, but I'm not like a I'm not a registered Republican. I, I don't know much about the things and the about the what's what and the never been to a rally, you know, I'm not I'm I consider myself, you know, moderate leaning a moderate uh leaning patriot. Or something like that, you know? It's because I think most reasonable people in the world, uh, they, they tend to be a lot more moderate on a lot of these issues. They're not as radicalized in either direction. It just so happens that with this election, I definitely am a Trump supporter. I definitely believe he would be the best choice out of the choices, you know? And I see that uh, a lot of the Republicans and the conservatives that I grew up with disagreeing with, I now sort of understand where they were coming from a lot better. Well, while the people on like the more liberal side, the radical liberal side, I kind of not that logic doesn't really hold up to me anymore, especially especially after what I've seen in my life 
It just, I just, I, I see where that leads, and I don't like it. I'm all, I'm all for freedoms and whatnot, but maybe uh, if if people stop, you know, marching to justify their sins, you know, just shouting freedom, 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 and they worried more about their responsibilities, you know, they find a nice balance between freedom and responsibility. That's kind of like the, that's the juxtaposition between liberalism and conservatism. Liberalism says we need more freedom. Conservatism says we need to take care of our responsibilities. Freedom, responsibility. And I don't think you can have either or. I think it does need to be a nice mix. A nice mix of the two. It just seems that uh, by default, because of the way like they're set up, conservatism versus liberalism, liberalism is easier to hijack. It's a much easier because by default you're you're supposed to be open to new ideas, while conservatism you're more uh, you're trying to maintain uh, traditions and values, and so by default you're more resistant to change of new ideas. So it's harder to hijack that movement if that makes sense. But liberalism, that shit you could, you could come up, <laughs> you can see these people eat themselves alive sometimes. When people come up with like a new pronoun, a new thing, a new catchphrase, like black trans lives matter. And then like, yeah, fuck it, right in the street. We got to have that too. And then some people are like, wait, what? This is this is not the message we were talking about either. What the fuck is this shit? And they're like, hey, man, are you a bigot? Why don't you like black trans people? I'm like, what? I, it has nothing to do with black trans people. I mean, I thought this was about black lives matter. Now it's about trannies. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, hey, bro, this is about everybody. No, it's not. <laughs> if it was, it wouldn't be called Black Lives Matter. It wouldn't be called Black Trans Lives Matter. You get more specific. I, I, I'm sure they will find a way to get more specific. But I hope you understand the point that I'm trying to make. Is that uh, what these people are talking about in this video we just watched. This, this shit right here, all this little shit. Or they're just talking about punching people in the face. Punch people in the face. Punch some people in the face. Like, what? Like, you know, Stranger Things was not that dope, bro. Chill out. <laughs> like, punching people in the face is not a uh, polite discourse. Is not a mature response to anything in politics. It, it genuinely isn't. And also... No, why do we care what these celebrities have to say? You know, when, when have these celebrities ever come out and really done anything for other people that wasn't for themselves, that wasn't for their own PR? Like, I, I don't know. I just don't. I don't really give a fuck about what a celebrity has to say. Like, you're an actor. Like, you lie for a living. That's your job. Like, I, I get that. I get that they're wholesome lies, and you get to pretend to be a pirate and. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? I don't know, what's it, where is it, fucking, yeah, this guy. <laughs> Robert De Niro, so sad, you know? I get that you get a LARP as a, as a mobster, as a gangster, but I don't care what you have to say about this topic. I, I genuinely don't. You're a rich person. You're very, very, very wealthy, and you don't seem to be very based so I don't, know. I don't know, and I don't want to judge all these people just because you're wealthy or just because you're an actor. It doesn't mean that you're full of shit. It just happens to be that these people are full of shit, and they're promoting some violence. So I, I hope nobody ever gets it twisted. I never want to promote violence on my channel, you know, xenophobia, anything like that, racism. I'm not promoting that. I'm just trying to offer some objectivity to the conversation, if possible. And I think what these people are doing is irresponsible. Is, and peaceful it's like this this guy especially this chick this i think this is maxine roberts dude she is straight up like losing her fucking mind go and take trump out tonight and if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant in a department store at a gasoline station you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. And they're not welcome. If you see these people in the streets, form a crowd and push back on them. No, we've already seen this happen. We've seen we've seen some children misinterpret, maybe, 
if I'm being as fair as I could possibly be generous for my Maxine Roberts, some kids misinterpreting this and then just going and attacking random people f- eating dinner and forming a crowd. That's what that was all about. That's what that leads to. Nonsense. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. It, if anything, that they could say, so the other angle would be that Trump is saying things like, quoting the mayor talking about like guys we can't allow he, I'm inferring to what he what he meant what he's saying but maybe he meant something different maybe he's crazy racist but when he did the he tweeted the if it gets to looting it gets to shooting an old quote which is a very reasonable thing to say because the point of the quote is if you allow looting to take place it is inevitable that business owners and other people are going to defend their business, are going to want to defend their businesses. That's going to lead to shooting. So if you want to stop that from happening, you need to quell the riots. You need to quell the looting. You need to enforce law and order. It's just simple. And in Oregon, Mayor Ted Wheeler is fighting back against Trump and about the federal agents coming in and restoring order. And that's like that's what's gonna happen. So you could say though that Trump is on the, in the in the right is promoting doing the same thing they're doing here, but encouraging other people on the right to go fight back. But if you really think about the rhetoric and most of it, the way it's being worded and the way like this is all falling down, the way these these video clips come out, if you just watch them, some of them look like somebody walks up and just shoots somebody, as we saw with like the Portland Antifa shooting the Trump supporter the. Patriot prayer member. That was a, that was pretty you know apparent. If it mean, we have eighty plus nights of riot footage, you can go look at if you want to see some obnoxious shit. And then on the right, we have people defending themselves. So it it looks like these people are being instigated on the left. They're being instigated by these. This is the chick who called Kyle Rittenhouse a white supremacist. Yeah, I, I think that these people got into power, like this is a Democratic representative. I think they got into power uh, because people weren't paying attention. So I hope 2020 is 2020 vision and we're paying attention to what's going on in our politics. We're not going to let these people virtue signal their way into these key positions anymore. Now these people are in positions of power like this just because the whole thing's a giant charade. It's a it's a marionette parade. It's marionettes are us. And you can come on down to CNN. Where you <laughs> CNN? This channel's not news. So yeah, I digress. I just wanted to show this video. I thought it was a really good compilation of all this bullshit. Also, girl, why are you sweating? <laughs> and how much Botox and Adrenochrome are you taking on a daily basis? Look at your face. <laughs> You always wear this like neck corsage. I feel like I said this before, but I feel like she's got like vampire teeth marks or some shit like that, like from Soros or somebody. Palpatine's ass. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll link this video on this account. Uh, it comes from this one though. So yeah, just shout out to the, this channel, whatever the fuck news digression. So yeah, that wraps it up. Let me know in the comments. Do you think? That the right is just as bad as the left at promoting and instigating this violence. Do you think that... Or actually, what what we should be talking about is what do you think the best course of action is? Like, what peaceful resolution uh, do you see possible? And w- in what way would it be enacted and brought about? So, Because I think if we start talking about peaceful resolutions and how they can happen they'll start to manifest themselves more than if we just keep talking about race and our differences and why we hate each other and why this happened and blah, 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 blah. I think if we start thinking more pro- proactively, productively, that would probably be better. So yeah, that wraps this up. If you enjoy Clown World news, you can check out my uh, description. I do have a Patreon. Shout out to all the other Patreons. People on the page. I don't know. I never, I never know whether to call them Patreons or patrons, but it is patrons. I'm bad with words, I'm bad with math, Uh, I just have thoughts and I just try to get them out. So yeah, stay vigilant, stay woke, avoid being woke, stay awake. Man, leftists ruined woke. Woke used to be dope, I used to like woke, but now you can't really say that because now it's like ironic. But also, call your mom, be safe.
be smart. Peace.